<laughs> Go ahead, T man. For we can sure. get into the topics, bro. Yeah, so man, with you being representative of the honey pack, right? I don't know if you're hip to Andrew Tate, man. The dude, he caused different controversy online and stuff like that. Yeah, the uh, boy here guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, like, man, this dude just recently said any man that has sex with a woman because it feels good is gay. Sex is for making children. Man, as the, rep- as the representative <laughs> of a honey pack, man, tell me. I'm coming out What do you swinging. think about that statement, man? You can go ahead and take the yeah, yeah, no, Jordan. I think, I think, you know, people just be reaching, bro. They be trying to, they be trying to start. They be trying to start stuff, bro. They say outlandish shit to get a reaction out of people, bro. Cause mm-hmm. that that comment don't even make sense, bro. Mm-hmm. I agree. That comment don't I make agree. no sense at fucking all. Like, what? Especially when you're the king of the honey packs. You know he ain't trying to hear that shit at all, <laughs> bro. Where the fuck honey pack come from, bro? I mean, I know where it come from, but like, what the what was you on when you came up with the concept and vibe for that record? Uh, Sada said, Sada said, uh, honey pack. I, I named it Honey Pack because our first in our first in our first song we said something about a honey pack and then in the second song we said something about a honey pack or two. So I was like, fuck it, we can call me honey pack. Mm. <laughs> that right. What's up with y'all videos? Y'all like the Buster Rhymes of Detroit right now, bro. What's up with the videos, dog? Man, what's crazy is bro, I got so many slept on videos that that's just out there right now that mm-hmm. that I've been wilding on. Like Y'all just gotta check them out. I really like my videos. My visuals be different from that. Crazy. For real. I, don't, I don't just stand in front of a camera and rap. So you know I was gonna come crazy with. I'm uh, talking about with Sada for sure. Like, no, for sure. Yeah. Nah, straight up. That's that's what sets you apart. I think from a lot of the other artists, you know, in the city, as mm-hmm. far as your stage presence, your performance, you know, your creativity. Like you said, with you know, the. Oh, I mean to cut you. No, nah, go ahead. You, you know a vibe he gave me, like Detroit. House party vibes. Y'all old enough to like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Niggas you know what I'm saying? Boop, boop, boop. We can go on the house party. And <laughs> you hear that side? You hear that honey pack? You know what's that junk on side of like? Oh my man, God. that shit all night, bro. bro somebody just called me. Somebody just called me. That's the Detroit shit, shit, so shit that we it's need crazy, to right listen. Now. Somebody that's just called us. me the Detroit Uncle Luke. Nigga, you no, are. Yeah, yeah, nigga, I yeah, said, dog, that's are, crazy. Because hey, I fuck with my baby Luke. Like, and it's so yeah, crazy nah, to crazy. see you walking into uh, this, y'all. Y'all got it. So for me, right, it's a little different because, like, I first heard about Jungle through Flashy West, my cousin. Shout out to Cuz. That's yeah. our cousin. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Same. I fuck with him. Shout out to my Flashy West. You know what I mean? We were about to do a, uh, I was doing my album release for, I think it was like Ultra Lit 1 or, it was Ultra Lit 2. And just so happened COVID hit, right? 